Welcome to our channel. Lots of summaries of interesting films. Keep it updated. Press subscribe and turn on notifications. To support us, you can like and share our videos. Enjoy watching. A Comanche tribe resides in the northern Great Plains as of September 1719. With her dog Sariai, a young woman named NAR practices her hunting in the wilderness. Sariai's tail gets trapped in a bear trap along the journey, but Nehru is able to free her. When Nehru glances up, she sees what she initially takes for a thunderbird but is actually a predator ship approaching. Later, as they get ready for their katamia, or the large hunt for their tribes that serves as a rite of passage for hunters, Nehru accompanies her brother Tabby. While their mother Aruka dismisses Nehru's ambitions, she wants to be seen as a hunter alongside her brother. The predator shows up close to the community and hides before ruthlessly skinning a snake. Puhi, a member of the tribe who may have been abducted by a mountain lion, is being sought after by Tabby and his hunting group. Despite the objections of everyone but Tabby, Nehru accompanies them because he is confident that she can take care of Puhi's wounds. Puhi is found by the group wounded but still alive. Nehru treats his wounds. If they discovered Puhi alive, something larger than a mountain lion must be nearby because the lion would not have left him in that position unless it had been chased away, according to Nehru. The hunting team never stops searching for the lion. Paka is one of the group members who climbs a tree with Nehru in order to create a trap, but the lion cruelly drags Paka from the tree before tearing him apart. The lion scales the tree and moves closer to Nehru, who has a spear in hand. As the predator roars and shines a blinding light at her, the lion charges at her. Before falling and hitting her head on a boulder, Nehru used the spear to stab the lion in the side. Tabby carried Nehru back to her house, where she awakens. He completed his katamiya by returning with the head of the killed mountain lion. He is appointed as the new war chief during a ceremony arranged in his honor. The following day, Nehru leaves on her own in an effort to find the predator. While out on a walk with Sariai, she discovers a means to throw and retrieve her hatchet and comes across a field of bison skins. The wolf also makes an attack as the alien hunter comes across it. The predator guts the wolf through the middle as it charges at it. The predator then tears out the wolf's spine and skull before burning the head all the way through to the skull and carrying it as a trophy around its belt. In the end, Nehru stumbles into a large mud pit and starts to sink. She launches the hatchet that is dangling on a rope, and she succeeds in snagging a tree stump to pull herself to safety. She comes across Sariai and a bear. Nehru manages to hide while the beast pursues her. The predator discovers her before the bear does. The hunter is nearly overcome by the bear despite its valiant efforts, but the predator eventually punches it to death, picks it up, and covers itself in the bear's blood so that Nehru may plainly see the predator. Nehru flees and uses the river's current to his advantage. As they were sent by Tabby to find Nehru and bring her home, Nehru discovers tribespeople on another party. Waisapi, one of the men, is fought by Nehru, who nearly defeats him before being knocked unconscious by one of the other group members. The predator has the upper hand with its sniper rounds and kills one of the men while the men tie her up and get ready to strike. As the men start to be killed, Nehru sets herself free. While running, Nehru manages to get her foot entangled in a trap. The French for trappers then knock her out cold. The trappers keep Nehru as a prisoner and abuse him horribly. Raphael, one of the men, addresses Nehru in English and inquires about the predator. She understands that it was these men who skinned the bison. Tabby is brought out by the head for Trapper, who then slices him across the chest and down to the stomach. To serve as bait for the predator, Nehru and Tabby are fastened to a tree. The trappers set up observation posts to stalk it, but the predator discovers them before it can finish off the first bunch. Even though it is cornered, the hunter utilizes its sophisticated traps and devices to kill the trappers and escape. Another group succeeds in getting the predator's foot hooked in a bear trap. Nehru utilizes her cunning to rescue them after informing Tabby that the predator did not perceive her as a threat. Before setting Sariai free, Nehru returns to the trapper camp and kills the last of the men. A hurt Raphael discovers her and offers to teach Nehru how to handle his gun in exchange for medical attention. Given that the predator's trap sliced his foot, Nehru gives him remedies and attends to his wound. Additionally, she observes that the herbs might lower a person's body temperature, which makes it more difficult for the predator to detect them. As Nehru hides, the predator shows up. 
Raphael's screams cause the predator to kill him after it walks on his wound before it notices him. Tabby rescues Nehru and tells her to go because the predator perceives him as a threat as he rides up on a horse. Tabby is impaled by the predator despite their attempts to flee. Tabby uses his final breaths to divert the hunter from Nehru before it strikes Nehru with its fatal blow. While cleaning herself off and running, Nehru laments Tabby. Nehru locates the trapper leader after entering the forest. Similar to like he did with her and Tabby, she assaults him and cuts off his foot. She waits for the predator to show up while using the plants to mask her heat signature. The predator kills the trapper, but Nehru shoots the predator in the head with Raphael's gun. She grabs its helmet before sprinting into the forest. In order to impale the predator in the head with her arrows, Nehru corners it with its own helmet after trapping it in the mud pit she fell into. With Sariai, Nehru returns to the community bearing the predator's head. She forewarns her tribe of the white men and other dangers, forcing them to choose a new place to live. The tribe rejoices over Nehru's success and longevity.